for the USA, it all started with a dream and a mouse back in 1928, and since then the journey of the animation industry over there has been no lesser than a fairy tale story. Whereas in India, it all started with a dream and a bunch of birds in 1974, with an educational short film named, One, Many, and Unity. But soon, the dreams of the illusion of life faded away like an illusion itself, and the Indian animation industry never came into the picture, despite the massive success of international shows in the coming years. But then, Chota Beam debuted in the midst of an era where international heroes like Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman once again started to regain their powers and control over the audiences. Both DC and Marvel are filled with thousands of heroes, each with their own story, characteristics, and decades of evolutionary enhancement. And despite the huge popularity and better technicality of international superheroes, our local boy managed to pave its way and become a fan favorite amongst kids. So what it's about Chota Beam specifically that resonated with kids so well. Created by Rajiv Jalaka, Chota Beam's debuted on Pogo in 2008, a channel struggling to survive at that time. Despite facing rejection for five constant years, the network decided to take a chance with it, and they gave it a green signal, or should I say green gold signal. And it's Chota Beam's practicality, simplicity, and psychological connectivity that helped him to resonate with our children so well, and it became the brand that it is today. It's a show that redefined the conventional superhero genre by understanding kids' state of mind and impatience for origin stories, as it can be boring to watch sometimes even as an adult. Kids want to see things and people in action, and that's what Chota Beam provided right from the go. Every kid secretly dreams of being a superhero, and Chota Beam was a character that provided that hope without being preachy. It's a character who likes to hang out with friends, eat sweets, and fight bullies, things that most kids long to do. And yes, he doesn't have to bear the burden of education either, which at a time can be controversial to term as a positive trait, but for kids, it's a dream come true. The idea that you don't need technology, money, fancy clothes, genetically gifted parents or to be a victim of some scientific experiment in order to have a superpower, empowers the kids to utilize what they already possess and stay grounded in their roots. And the most important factor is that Chota Beam deals with his own problems despite being small. And unlike other superheroes who are dealing with the complexity of their dual identity, Chota Bean takes a straightforward approach to being himself all the time, which makes it easier for kids to empathize with him, without keeping a track of multiple issues that other heroes go through. Another vital element Chota Bean has is that he is a guy with good intentions, he does not have any selfish motto behind his undertakings. He is a guy who will help and fight any evil for society without expecting anything in return. He is an epitome of a friend we all need and wish for. Someone who is always there for us, someone on whom we can depend, someone who can help us to sail through the obstacles life throws at us. But as they say, with great powers comes great responsibilities. Even though Chota Beam managed to stay in our hearts and transformed into Super Beam. Somewhere down the line, the good-spirited boy needs to grow up as a character if he wants to continue to endure amongst the lights of other great superheroes. The reason why heroes like Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man continue to entertain, educate, and inspire us is that they evolved with time. Just like us, these characters learned from their mistakes, worked on their flaws, and dealt with issues that we as growing adults can relate to. They continue to make us aware of the fact that life isn't as easy as we think, and sometimes we need to take decisions that might not satisfy everyone, sometimes we need to make selfish choices, and sometimes we need to hide behind a mask for the wellness of our loved one, and sometimes even superheroes need help. I understand that Chota Beam is for specific target audiences, and it's perfect in its own sense. But it will be great to see our little one growing up, just like it happens with our kids. To read the full article on which this video is based, please click on the link given in the description.